Why won't you stay up? Righty tidy. Whoa, that made it worse. Okay. Clearly not righty tidy on this one. Yes. Ah! Oh no. My daughter. Oh no. No. <gasps> no. Well, clearly I'm a hot mess. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. This is something I said I wouldn't do. We are going to the bins. I, I don't, I don't, look. I haven't been in about four or five years, okay? Austin has boomed. Maybe there's something different. I got a tip off from a lady that I talked about in my previous video. She said she goes there and she finds new tags all the time. But maybe she's the more aggressive type because I, I mean, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Like, so we are going to the bins. I have this mindset that I'm not going to find anything. I mean, I think that's the mindset that I need to have. I don't know what to expect anymore. I really don't. I'm really scared. I don't even think I'm going to grab a cart, frankly. I don't even know if there's, I mean, they run out of carts all the time. Again, four or five years ago. So maybe they have enough carts now. I don't know. I've got a lot of shipping I need to do today too. Ugh, I feel like I'm neglecting it, but I'll get it done. I'm cheating on bang with rain <laughs> and energy drinks. I mean, frankly, I love the flavors. <laughs> Whether it be bang, rain, monster, Red Bull, frankly, I would take a sponsorship from any of them. Except for NOS or Rockstar. I'm sorry, but y'all's flavors are just the <clears throat> la, la, la. And I have this weird like habit I don't want to call it a habit. I mean, it's, it's a habit. It's just a mannerism of mine, I guess, because it's not even a habit. It's something I do literally every time I take a drink. I'll take a drink of something. If it's too cold, I'll hold it in my cheeks. I'll hold it in my cheeks until the temperature comes down before I swallow it. I know this is really weird, and I, oh, I do this with alcohol too. I know, I know it's weird. I know it's weird when you see it. If it's something unchuckable, water, I won't do that. Diet soda, I won't do that. People used to call me a chipmunk. Not a lot of people, and they were my friends, but frankly, they're right. My hopes are very low. I'm going to the bins on a Tuesday. I'm not gonna record inside um, because they got strict rules about that, and frankly, I'm not trying to get kicked out of any place. And if I got anything, Maybe a small haul at the end. Tell me it's not one of the scariest things to drive next to a freaking K rail. Look at this construction that's been going on for like three years because everyone wants to move to Austin. It's all y'all's fault. Well, I guess I'm part of it. I'm from California. <laughs> this traffic is ridiculous. Ugh. I'll let one person in. Just one person can come in. I don't know if you can see, but um, that billboard up there has Matthew McConaughey on it, um, promoting some uh, Long Branch whiskey. And for those of you who didn't know, uh, Matthew McConaughey's like home base is Austin. He goes to like every one of the UT football games. He's definitely known as an Austinite. But like every time I see him, I can't help but think, you know, that's the actor that doesn't wear deodorant. I mean, could you imagine doing Magic Mike with a co-star that doesn't use deodorant? Yikes! My anxiety is rising quite a bit. I'm getting closer to this place. God, I'm so nervous. I just need to calm down. I just need to calm down. I'm just afraid. I'm just... Stop saying that. Trick your mind. I'm gonna go in there, find absolutely nothing, but I'm completely okay with it, and it's gonna be a good day regardless. Is it working? Actually, that made me feel a little bit better. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Did I take a right at the wrong turn? Oh, shoot. Well, I'm lost. Am I on Burleson? What am I on? Oh, no. I have to poop. Stop sign. Oh, my God. What's the speed limit? Stashney. I want Stashney. I went all, <clears throat> all the way back to Stashney. Are you freaking kidding me? I just backtracked a whole exit. A long exit, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up to at a bend. Am I gonna find a parking spot? Oh, I saw one. Let me show you how crazy AF this place is. And, Jesus, this place is packed. Oh God, jeez, oh jeez, oh my, oh jeez. I'm so scared, wish me luck, okay? <laughs> okay. 
If you can't tell by my current demeanor, it was way better than I thought it was gonna be. I got there around 9.30 and it wasn't that crowded. As the hours passed by and I was here for pretty much two and a half, almost three hours. Plus I wanted to thoroughly inspect everything and I only made it through like two rounds of like new rows of bins. And one of the employees there was actually really kind. Uh, clearly she was new because Goodwill Outlet employees are usually not the friendliest, um, rightfully so, because that place is a freaking madhouse. At least down here it is. But she was super nice. Uh, she's only been there for a few days and she came over with a jacket and she's like, do you sell jackets? I'm like, I can. And she's like, cause this is Lululemon. And I was like, oh. Granted, after I looked at it, it was, it had holes in the back, even a, a pretty significant hole, but it was patched up. So, I don't know, I still took a shot on it, and I mean, maybe I'll just keep it, maybe I'll just tear a whole bunch of holes into it, and then, you know, keep it and wear it, whatever. I also found a pair of kids' hunter boots, which was shocking. Hunter! Hunter! And the lady, she came over and, like, also gave me two items that someone had, like, changed their mind about up front. Like, do you want these pants? They're new attacks. That was really nice. So she gave me three items that I bought. But I am so mentally drained. Like, I don't understand how you can spend all day there. I really don't. Like, I have a headache. I'm hungry. I found the better stuff once I rushed, like everybody else did. I wasn't obnoxious. I was pretty, tra I was trailing behind a decent amount. And unfortunately, on the first round, I just picked a spot where there was an opening and it ended up being like the business pants bin. I mean, business stuff does sell, don't get me wrong, but again, it's not that exciting. And a lot of people pass on stuff that was just simply like, like dirt dirty. You know what I mean? Like somebody dropped it on the floor and then like the like pant leg just had a whole bunch of dirt on it. I mean, that's easily washable. I'm not even gonna say the stuff that I got was good in the first place because it really is, it's not anything to shake a stick at. It's nothing that what y'all like might experience in Seattle or Oregon, you know, wherever Nicole States is. The stuff she gets from her bins, um, ridiculous. I can't find brands like that. I'm hoping to average around two dollars a piece because I think my bins are like 129, 139 a pound. I'm going to go home, wash my hands aggressively, get something to eat, pick up my daughter. See you later. Hello there. It's approximately two days later and the items are still in my car. I'm gonna go pull them out, decide what needs to be washed and what doesn't. I wanted to put this on camera so everyone knows that, you know, nobody's perfect. Sure as hell not me. I got a case open against me and it was 100% my fault. <laughs> so I ordered a pair of Lucky Brand jeans completely the wrong size. I didn't realize that I had so many pairs of Lucky Brand jeans. I sent her the wrong size. That was completely my bad. First time I actually lost a case, but it's not, I didn't find it. Like clearly I messed up. So it was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, it's completely my fault. And you know, I just, so it was like, okay, I, I messed up. So go ahead and send them back to me. So yeah, I didn't find that. I don't even want to call it a case. I'm going to call it a return because that was my fault. And then this one, I found in my mailbox today. You know what's crazy is when you get a return, you see how much damage that these boxes go through before they get to their person. Look at that, look at that. Jeez, squashed. It says return to sender no longer at this address. This one may have actually been my fault because I remember Poshmark sending me an updated address label and I may have accidentally missed that when I was wrapping all my orders up. So yeah, that was, that was that was probably my fault. I'm gonna have to look at it. Just wanted to show y'all that we all make mistakes. And two in one month is, uh, that's a lot for me, but it happened. So I'm going to bring all my stuff up, sort it, and I will see you guys later. I just about died bringing all this up here. Okay, so I counted everything and ironically, I got 62 items for 62.90. Oh gosh, that's, that's really awesome. So I feel like I got a good balance of things and there is not as much that needed washing as I thought. I am going to put on some better clothes and show you what I got. Okay, got a new shirt on. It says Lisa Frank, 1993, one of my go-to work shirts. Fun fact, year I was born. Anyway, it's a good work shirt. All right, so I'm just gonna leave my closet open while I do this, make it a little bit faster, and let's go. Going in no particular order, 
I was kind of surprised and happy to find this with like no issues. God, the lighting in here sucks. I'm so sorry. Oh well, we're just gonna do it anyway. This is a White House black market dress faux wrap. Mm-hmm. Originally one at 13 bucks. What? No. The condition is like flawless. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't see anywhere. It's quite incredible. Buy number one. One dollar. Now, everything I got, like some of the stuff isn't name brands. Um, I got it either maybe because it was like linen or something that I think is back in a vintage way. Um, this was linen and I thought <laughs> that someone actually could find this really cute, but it is a linen striped. Oh, 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 okay, linen top. Okay, I got it now. It's like, it's also like a wrappy top, okay? I thought it was just an open vest, but clearly I was wrong. I thought it was kind of cute. Design loft, don't know that one. <laughs> okay, and this one, was was actually in like really good shape. Typically I would not go for bras or anything like that, but uh, this is a intimately free people bralette. No tears, no stains, there's nothing wrong with it. And I don't know why someone like just passes up at the bins, but heck yes. Okay, I was really, <laughs> this one I actually really love. There are a few very minor, I don't wanna say stains, marks that I feel like I can get out. This is a Hollister skirt, denim skirt, obviously, that has like a whole bunch of cute little fun patches on it. So steal this patch. I mean, how cute, so cute. Um, Yeah, just a little bit of discoloration in some places. I just have to, I'm either gonna wash it or no, I'm probably gonna wash it. It's really not that bad. A lot of business pants, okay. Ann Taylor, petite. I know, I'm, I'm gonna have so much petite, like it's ridiculous. These are the Margot pants, black business pants. All black pants are gonna have like a lot of lint on it and it is getting really washed out right now from the lighting in here, but these are just like black pants and they are actually, the color is quite nice. The pants are in good shape, okay? The color is not washed out despite what the light is making it look like. And yes, there is some just linty on it that I'll have to get off. Ann Taylor, 10 bucks for it. White House Black Market, uh, black and white tweed flare leg pants. Look at the flare leg, how cute. It is so cute. White House Black Market, also $10. What? Good, will you crazy? All right, you're gonna start to see some of my creativity come out on some of these pieces. This was Lucky Brand. It does have some holes in it, but one of the purposes of being a reseller is to upcycle clothing I think, if you have the time and patience for it. So it can actually get some use out of it and not go straight to a landfill. And I know stuff doesn't go straight to a landfill. Like I know this, I know it gets like sold and shipped off to other countries first. And if it's not sellable there, then they put it in a landfill or burn it. So yeah, Lucky Brand. So here's, here's one of the holes. There's a hole there. So I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch of holes into it and make it a thing. Otherwise it's okay. I'm just gonna add some more holes, upcycle. Now, technically this is a men's shirt, but I thought this would look really cute on kind of like a, what's the word? I don't know, maybe like a tomboy or androgynous. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I mean. So yes, this is technically a men's shirt, but I really just think it would look super cute with like some high-waisted jeans tucked in. I just, I like the texture of it and how it looks. It's got that distress wash, buckles on the sleeves. It's just really cute. So yeah, men's, but I'm gonna list it as women's um, and explain that it is men's and I'm listing it as women's. This is vintage. Man, was I just, I was just feeling it. All right, I was just feeling it. It is a <laughs> vintage long pleated plaid skirt. Super, super cute button and zipper on the waist. It might be a school uniform. I don't know. I don't think it is. It does say dry clean only. I mean, come on. Look how cute that is. I hope somebody loves this because heck, if I was this size, I would wear the hell out of this skirt. Shocker! I found a Victoria's Secret sports bra, but shockingly, it's in good shape. Victoria Sport, it's in good shape. I was shocked. Look, this whole trip shocked me, okay? I also have to be one of the people to kind of scramble and fight for my place in a bin when the new bins come out. That is when you're gonna get your good stuff. This is Free People. It looks like to be an older tag here. And I think people just like automatically passed it because it does kind of look grungy, but that's kind of the style of this shirt and that's what Free People was going for. And there's actually nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Woo! Okay, look at this. Free People, 
I know the color looks a little faded, but it actually is in really good shape. And yes, it, it's got raw hems all the way around, so it does look grungy, but that is clearly the style they were going for. And again, a little bit of an older tag there. Fantastico! And this is one of my early pickups. Like this is a pickup from the bins that were not being shopped because they'd already been picked over. I just got it because I thought it was okay. It's kind of cute, so I'm gonna like it. Brown, ribbed, razor back, tank top with glitter, tinsel, I guess. Mix it! Don't know what that is, but I just thought it was cute. Here we go again, me buying crap from my closet. Look, it'll get better. It'll get better the more I go to the bins when I know that I'll be able to find certain stuff. But right now, I kind of panicked. I panicked, but I still think it's cute. Again, if I was that size, I would wear it. This is Maurice's. We got some stringies going on a bit around here, um, but it was Siobhan. Floral and striped printed chiffon top high low. Wow, it's got a lot of stringies. I just need to touch it up a little bit. Otherwise, it'll be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Running out of room already. People in Texas are all about their football. Um, so <laughs> occasionally I will pick up, if I can find it at a decent price, I'll pick up any kind of university shirt, basically. Um, that's in good shape. So Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. There's like no wear on it. If I was the size small, I'd be wearing all of this shirt. It's your own fault, Morgan. You don't do anything about it. That's a lie. I do try to do stuff about it. I just fail after a few weeks. Hashtag real life. All right, this has a spot on it. This one's probably gonna, oh, it's linen though. I might just sell it as, as is or I might fix it. I'm not sure, but there are a few very, very tiny spots on it. So I picked this up. There is no clothing label on it. Due to the style and the fact that I felt that it was linen, I was like, this kind of looks like an anthropology piece. So I did my due diligence and it is a 66170. So it is, yes, free people, anthropology or urban outfitters, one of the three. And since it is linen, I am swinging towards either free people or anthropology. Okay, nothing too special about this one. It is just Eddie Bauer. It's just a really thick, heavy sweater. Nothing too exciting. And again, I was having it for the plaid. So when I saw this one <laughs> next, I was like, okay, clearly they are they the same print? No, they're different. They're different brands. Um, this one's got some stringies on it. It just needs a little bit of a touch up. And I'm pretty sure this is like, oh, these are shorts. These are shorts. High-waisted <laughs> pod shorts. I like it. I don't know how to pull this off, but I know there's people out there that do. Hopefully I can get this to them. Also vintage. Um, okay, so we've got a sweater here. Quite stringy, as you can see. Uh, again, I will touch it up. There's also a little bit of peeling out here, and I will also touch that up. It just needs a little TLC, that's all. And we have some linen sleeves. Super cute. Adorable little sweatshirt. <laughs> Okay, I saw that this was left in a bin, so I'm really hoping there's not something wrong with it. I scanned it as well as I could. I scanned things for probably about an hour. A lot of business pants, a lot of businesses. Michael, Michael Flores, cool. I guess they're dress slacks. Got an interesting style to them for sure. <sighs> because I don't know too much about Ralph Lauren. I'm not sure if this is one of the pricier pieces. Uh, I just know that like Lauren Ralph Lauren, I'm pretty sure is kind of like the mid grade. And then Polo would be under that, I think. I, d I don't know for sure. But from what I thought, Ralph Lauren, just Ralph Lauren on the label means it's one of the more expensive pieces. I could be wrong. I need to research it. But if what I'm thinking is correct, which I could be totally wrong, um, I might be like super excited about this one. Look at this amazing crochet vest. I hate the lighting in this room right now. I'm so sorry. Crochet vest. Like it's so beautiful. I scanned this thing hard too to make sure there was like no snags or messed up. He's like, how can somebody pass this up? Like I, I literally don't understand. I don't understand. So original tag. We shall see. Ties at the front here. It's got a little tie on the back for aesthetic. Super cute. Super cute. This isn't anything special. 1060 Sherman. I don't know what that is. This is just a muscle tank. Um, this is kind of one of the things I picked up early on because I wasn't sure if I was going to find anything. So I just thought it was really cute. Ripped collar. Still wanted seven bucks for that. Like why? Like why? It is slightly sheer. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see the windows through it. Um, it's slightly sheer, but I thought it was really cute. Mm -hmm. Telling you right now, my whole workroom smells like a thrift store. It's not my favorite smell, but it is what it is. There was a flaw in this next one. I still bought it because I'm going to try to figure out how to fix it or hopefully sell as is. This is J. Crew 100% Cashmere. What? 
there is some peeling under the arms okay so there is that um hello easily fixable so i just gotta be really really gentle with that the obvious flaw with this is some very very minor holes probably from silverfish now i've lost them ah no there's a little stain there crap oh what whatever i'm probably just gonna sell it as is i can't find the friggin holes man like oh okay i guess i found them um we have two right there on the arm but 100 cashmere i couldn't leave it there now this it will be a silverfish feast all right uh lighter weight piece basically means it was free um was an american eagle i don't even know how to explain it i mean it's kind of like one of those thin materials kind of like that traditional what are those mexican shirts like the, the ones that are really popular with like in the tourist cities but you get what i'm saying kind of like that thin breathable material that's kind of what this is but yeah it's just super simple super lightweight ties here in the back i thought it was cute my mom took me to mexico a few times when it was more safe like i remember walking through the streets and seeing all these different vendors and all like the touristy stuff they were selling like they're like miniature instruments and uh, tons of chiclets <laughs> oh that's the first time in my life that i ever rode a donkey this is torrid i hear from people that torrid sells and well since the average size of a woman in the united states is a 14 i can see why right so it is just a pink lacy i guess cami it's completely see-through though it's in really really good shape oh god we're getting into the pants blah, 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 blah. i always seem to have a deficiency in uh pants hangers so i'm gonna have to unfold a lot of these unfortunately i don't know if this is a band shirt or what it might be so I apologize for my ignorance um but it says never shout never it's just kind of a basic tee but it's in really good shape despite the graphics looking cracked i mean those are intentionally cracked but if you can see by the arms there's like nowhere really good shape and it's just a cute t-shirt okay did i get this one for me i may have i probably did kirsch 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 i'm not sure um there is the tag there mm. oh stupid lighting's gotten me freaked out about a whole bunch of stuff that is not there um just a striped sweater and it's like super soft and i might keep this for myself i'm pretty sure that's why i picked it up for myself okay kind of your simple banana republic uh ribbed tank top regular 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 banana republic this is actually very thick for a tank top very thick very ribbed. This is, this is, this is a nice tank top. This is your heavy duty tank top. And look what Goodwill wanted. $8 for a tank top. Like you're just ridiculous. Look, look, Ugh, no one's going to see this. God, I wish they would. At least just this clip. A thrift store's best friend are resellers. Okay. I heard this on another YouTube video of a thrift store owner and he was trying <laughs> He was trying to mentor other thrift store owners and saying that you can't price things to a point where resellers aren't going to want to buy it because ultimately resellers are your most loyal and your best customers. Um, so uh, at the same time, maybe I shouldn't be complaining because the Goodwill bins clearly like stuff ends up there because people won't buy it in stores. And I mean, obviously the price is good a dollar. So I don't know. It is what it is. Why am I completing? Just shut up and do what you need to do. This shirt's actually in really good shape. Minimal wear. It's a little, okay, a little pre-pilling under the arms. I can fix that. But look how cute it is. Yes, we need this, don't we, in our lives right now? Only you can prevent wildfires. This is Victoria's Secret Pink. It is pre-peeling a little bit under the arms. But due to the fact that it was like, it weighed nothing, um, I picked it up anyway. Beauty. Austin and it is that like burnout material and clearly it is sheer so yeah that was cute seven bucks at Goodwill no oh man oh dear okay all right I may have also gotten this for me because uh, this is Primark which is um I believe a UK brand it's just kind of a your simple cream t-shirt so uh, pretty sure that one's for me <laughs> then we have a roxy i didn't realize the peeling on this thing when i was in the place um so i'm gonna have to take a sweater shaver pretty much to the entire thing i don't want to say burnt orange but it is more of an auburn i don't know it's like a mix between auburn and burnt orange and i guess it's missing like a little string there i, I didn't notice this when i was there but i can fix both of those issues <laughs> okay i can see why people pass on this because they don't I think I just thought this was like super ugly, but I don't think it is. And it's not because it's Wild Fable, but it's like the suspender jumpsuit. <laughs> look at this. Look how cool this is. Wild Fable. So that's Target. But look how cool this would be. But yes, 
this is a look for sure you know how cute how cool is this it's got pockets i mean it's got everything that you need it's amazing we're down to our last top besides the lululemon jacket okay i'm pretty sure this has to be a top there's no way it's not um i grabbed this because it was linen i don't know the brand but any brand that uses linen clearly has higher quality clothing steaming wait are these shorts hold on they're shorts i'm so confused i'm so confused right now they're shorts Shorts, what? How? Okay, so shorts, clearly it's supposed to sit below the chest. I did tie these a little high, I guess, so I guess these can get tied a little bit lower. Okay, linen shorts. Extremely high-waisted, but look at the back. Like, how confusing this? This is so confusing. I hope I can find a stock photo. The impeccable pig. I've never heard of it. There. So interesting piece. I really hope I can find a stock photo because that's gonna be a hard sell without it. All right, we're moving on to the pants. Oh, I'm gonna have to unhang all of these. Okay, um, no particular special brand it says B Girl. Goodwill one, 10 bucks, look at what. Just some acid wash. Ah, the lighting in here sucks. Just some acid wash, intensely acid wash jeans. These ones were pretty fun. Um, definitely interesting. These, this is a very deep navy blue, almost muted. So it's almost just like a charcoal gray. Maybe it is charcoal gray. Maybe that's what it is. Um, there are a few dirt marks on it. So I'm debating whether to wash it or just try to get it off with a baby wipe. It's BB. Look what they wanted, $13. A hell to the no. Fun little buckles. I mean, this is a high, this is a, you know, a nice quality item. You can feel by the weight, by the material. It's just nice. It's a very nice quality. Interesting style, very interesting. Ooh, even pocket on the back, how cool. I love these, I love these. Moving along. Oh. God, I can't wait to get all this bagged up so it doesn't smell like a freaking thrift store in here. Uh-oh, I haven't had an energy drink today. And I'm feeling the pain. What you be? Investments? I didn't know I picked up investments. Probably because of the size. Oh yeah, they are a size 20W. Work pants in really good shape. So that's probably why I picked it up because I need more diverse sizing and it's hard for me to find plus size stuff to be quite honest with you. God, I cannot stand the colors anymore. I'm like, what, what can I do? What can I do? Ah! Okay, Ann Taylor, size 14 Margot. They are a Pinstripe, I can't tell if it's blue or black. I really can't, but it is a pinstripe. Yes, all the buttons are there. Just haven't buttoned it all yet. Should have done that, but I didn't. They're looking blue, but they might be black with blue pinstripes and then it's confusing my eyes. Ah, uh, Goodwill wanted 10 bucks. I got them for a buck. Why am I complaining? Don't complain, just play the game. That's what I'm doing. I thought these were really cool looking. Mac Studio uh, 10 Petite. Oh, I gotta stop picking up petite clothing. I'm sorry if you're petite, but there's not enough of y'all. <laughs> Dang it, but God, these are really cool though. Um, it got like kind of those sailor buttons or nautical buttons, whatever. I really like that look, I really do. And they're a wide leg. I mean, come on. Can't tell me that you're not gonna be like a super stylish person at work with these pants. You can't tell me that. 10 bucks again. Hell no. Let me tidy up over here for a minute. And Taylor Loft Tweed Pants. I told you I hit hard on the professional areas because that was the only area of the bin that was open for me. But yeah, these are really cool. I like the tweed. I swear, I, I could rock all of these. I really like the professional look too. So I, I just, I would wear these. I told you what. Here are these tweeds. What size? Size eight, Marissa and Taylor Loft. Please put your pants away. Put those pants away. Oh God. We are getting into the shorts. This one has lint on it. Don't mind that. Otherwise, the color is actually really nice. White House Black Market Bermuda shorts. Promise they're not washed out. Kind of cargo -y. White House Black Market. All their studs and their accent details are actually just so nice. Like, they look like basic silver studs, but they're actually really reflective. They are not tarnished. Like, White House Black Market just puts a lot of effort into the minor, minor details of their clothing. Okay, I immediately felt these. I knew they were linen. So, how much linen? 100% linen! Well, this is one of the reasons why I don't wear gloves at the bins. It's gross as that may seem, but don't worry. I scrub my hands after I get home, put on a whole bunch of sand, hand sanitizer, but I need to be able to feel the material. I can feel linen, I can feel silk, I can feel cashmere or wool before I even look at the tag. So that's why I don't like wearing gloves at the bins. <laughs> Cut from the cloth, linen floral shorts. They're just cute. I mean, linen naturally looks worn after a few washes, so it is fading slightly, but only slightly. Super cute. And it's got pockets. 
super important. Alaya, okay, Alaya, 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 I think it's Alaya. The only reason I got them because I thought they were really cute. Oh my god, the shape on the camera looks so weird. Why does it look so weird? It does. It looks like it's pointing directly there. But uh, yeah, it's a navy blue with a lime green floral. I thought they were really cute. That's really the only reason why I got them. Moving on. La, 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 la. Okay, so this is one of the pairs that the lady gave to me. Uh, one of the employees gave to me. She's like, do you want these or new with tags? And I was like, uh, yeah. Ah! And Taylor loved modern skinny in beige. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Size 29 slash 8. Why wouldn't I want it if they were new with tags? It's not even a khaki. It's literally just like a, it's a taupe jean. Taupe or beige? Beige. It's just a beige jean. Super cute. So you gotta make friends with these people. Granted, she was new, so maybe that's why she was nice. These I picked up because they were literally perfect and I'm pretty sure it never been worn. And the brand, nothing crazy. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Denizen? Den Denizen by Levi's. Impeccable shape! Again, being washed out, but they are just, they're, they're flawless. Absolutely flawless. What the hell is that? Modern boot cut. I don't know, but they are flawless. Absolutely flawless. People passed on these. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why. Granted, it's not a brand that I've heard of, but I thought the style was cute enough to give it a shot. Frayed hems, okay, clearly. But that's not just the most amazing thing. Look at this. Ow! How cool is that? I love it. I need to start doing this to some of mine. Brand is only blue, blue something, only.com. Okay, well, they're only jeans. Only. Basic, basic, basic. Basic is okay. Pack Sun basic roll cut dis distress shorts. If anyone's wondering, yes, I checked the crotch of all of these. Every single pair of pants, I checked the crotch. Thank God that I did because there was one pair of jeans that I had in my cart. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look, women, like, I get it. We leak sometimes. It happens, especially if your personal has a heavy flow and a wide step vagina. I get it. You leak sometimes. It's fine. And if you just, for some reason, don't happen to get to your pants or jeans before, like, this stain sets, okay. Again, it happens. I mean, life happens. But don't donate those. Like, don't donate those. Blood is one of the hardest things to get out. Not to mention, it's gross, okay? It's just gross. Like, I am not gonna put my lady bitch in the same pair of pants that I tried to like de-stain with blood. Like that's just not, it's just gross. It's just gross. Maybe it's just me. I'm pretty sure it's not. If you destroyed a pair of pants from your, your ladyhood, just do everyone a favor and just like throw it away. Just throw it away. Cause I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be anybody that's willing to put the effort in to get blood out of a pair of pants. I'm pretty positive. Do us all a favor, throw it away. Okay, these were the, 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 the vintage shorts high-waisted mom shorts perfect like literally perfect like everybody was passing on these why these are literally in style so honestly i don't even think i'm gonna cut them up i think i'm just gonna let them be what they are let's see what size what size you be a 32 okay so i have a second pair that's a different color i wonder if it's the same size 32 is the same i can sell them a lot these look a lot better in person than they're showing up on camera but yes they are your Basic mom, high-waisted jeans, my Austin jeans. They're looking washed out on camera, but they're actually really nice. I wanna know what Goodwill these came from because I need to find the Goodwill that has freaking $4 shorts because that sure ain't mine. Uh, okay, nothing special about these. Um, this is one of my early pickups because again, I didn't know if I was gonna find anything and then at the end I was like, well, I might as well. They're just Lee, Lee denim shorts. Uh, embroider up here, distressing, freight hems. So I was like, why not? All right, uh, these are Sanctuary, which um, I'm pretty sure you can find it at TJ Maxx occasionally. I know they sell it at Steinmart. Why are you still washed out? They're not washed out, I swear. Sanctuary, frayed hems, uh, shorts. Like literally, this lighting is washing everything out. Uh, okay, this one, I didn't, I, it, it, it. I still probably would have picked it up because it was new with tags. This is one of the items the lady gave me and just like, you know, it's new with tags, do you want it? I said, yes. I don't know the brand. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> You're kidding. Okay, I don't know this brand at all, but it says the retail MSRP is 119. Just no, just no, um, and you're gonna see why. Like, this is somebody's style, it's just not mine. But I have sold skirts like this in the past, so I know somebody out there will like it. Can I get you a long denim skirt with like a pleated bottom? Not my swing, but it's somebody's thing. 
It kind of smells like thrift store. I'm gonna need a Febreze that is something. Put it outside for a few days. Okay, this one was actually really nice and I was kind of happy to find this one. Uh, this is Chico's. Chico's sizing is just stupidly complicated. Like, why can't you just stick to normal sizes? But whatever. Um, it is a faux suede, faux leather, burgundy skirt. We've got some pockets right there. All the faux lettering is in good shape here. Great professional skirt. This is a faux leather skirt from Warehouse. Oh my god. Faux leather skirt. Look how cute. Oh, it's a faux slit. So it looks like there's a slit, but they, it's, it's sewn together. Sneaky, sneaky. No issues with it either. Warehouse, size 16. These are 18. W. Um, very simple shorts from St. John's Bay. Again, one of my early pickups. I don't know. I just picked it up just because. Nothing exciting about that one. Mm -hmm. I paid for ties. Okay. What? Shut the front door. Okay, first of all, this one is, uh, I guess new with tags. Yeah, it's new with tags. Uh, this pink one here. Super cute. Love the colors. Goodwill Wanted. $6.99. Retail price is 50 bucks. Sean John? Sean John? This one, though. Pre-owned. I saw no issues, I saw no stains, I saw, oh wait. All right, just a little crusty from something, which will come off with a baby wipe, no problem. Uh, Goodwill won a $9.99 for this one. Because original Michael Kors, not Michael Michael Kors, Michael Kors, for a dollar. I say yes, why the hell not? There is damage on this jacket, it's obvious. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet, because frankly, it's just, I would like to say somebody would still like it, but I really don't know. And I tried to give this to the girl that like gave it to me, the employee. She's like, I really wish I could have bought that jacket for my daughter. And I was like, well, let me pay for it and I'll just give it to you. You I mean, you've been so nice to me. And I really wanted to give it to her. And I was like, is there anyone I can talk to so I can like put this somewhere in the back so you can like keep it? Like I didn't, I wasn't gonna go to the back, but you get what I'm saying. Like give this to somebody so they can put it in the back and hold it for her. And she was like looking around and then I guess she was pondering and she was like, I really don't think I can. But she really wanted this for her daughter. So I did offer to like pay for it and then give it to her. Um, I'm pretty sure it's men's. It's gonna need a wash, um, that's for sure. But it is a Lululemon jacket. Authentic because this is hella heavy. <laughs> and the tag's still on it, which is also kind of crazy because you know, everybody cuts the tags off. It is faded a little bit. I mean, it's just, I don't know if the quality is worth selling. And here's where like the real damage is shown, okay? We have like this hole here, but it is patched. I mean, that's patched, but still, I mean, that's kind of an obvious issue, right? I mean, the way the light. And we got a hole there, there, and another one there. I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it costs a lot of money because it's hella heavy, so I need to figure it out. I got one pair of shoes. Oh, these are also really heavy. <laughs> they need a little bit of cleaning on the inside. Wow, what? Interesting. Just a little bit of cleaning is what they need. Kids hunter boots. These are in a bin under a whole bunch of clothes. I don't know how somebody didn't see these. I really don't understand. I found one boot and I was like, I'm not that kind of person where I'd be like holding onto one shoe, hoping to find the other shoe, but I did with this one. And luckily I found it like 15 seconds later and I just kept digging in the same bin. I was like, it's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. And I found it. I mean, the outside obviously just needs like a little bit of touch up. It looks so much better on camera. But look at that. I mean, they're in good shape. No, only the inside. The inside needs a little bit of help. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Stop it. I haven't figured out how to tighten that part of the tripod yet. But you see on the inside, there's like a little bit of like yucky or something right there. Hopefully a baby book will get that off if not. But what's funny is look, okay, so after you see the Hunter logo in there, but look right here, it says property of name and telephone number. So in case you lose your Hunter boots, they can be returned to you. That was just, that was, that's kind of funny. All right, Hunter, that was interesting. Anyway, Hunter boots for kids. I don't know how much they go for, but ultimately I paid a buck for these things. Let's see how much I really paid for these things. Realistically, let's go by weight, right? Um, I'm pretty sure Austin bids are at 139 a pound. I'm gonna go with that. I'm weighing them. Oh my god! Jeez Louise! Okay. <laughs> Two pounds and four ounces. Holy crap. Almost three bucks for these by themselves. Oh, these things are heavy. How could you expect your kid to wear something that heavy, honestly? My legs get tired wearing Uggs. These things are heavier than Uggs. You can knock somebody out with these things. Anyway, that's it. That is my haul of 62 items. No, I forgot a few. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I forgot about these. Um, they were put off to the side because these are the for sure need to be washed pile. This one just has too much lint on it and I don't feel like using up like five sheets of my lint roller. 
White House Black Market Legacy size 6. Really nice business crop pants. Again, being washed out by my stupid lighting in this room. But they are a very nice black. They're actually in very, very good shape. Just need to wash them. Again, with the... Ah! Okay. Cut from the cloth. Go to a 1 at 10 bucks. Size 12. I would say they're boot cut. It's not telling me. I'm pretty sure it's boot cut or something because they kind of got a wide leg. The leg's just a little bit dirty. There's a little bit of dirt. All right. This is more of a vintage piece. I just picked it up because I kind of liked it. There's certain vintage pieces. I still think we'll do okay now. And I got this because it is uh, velvet. E Buyer California. So yeah, definitely vintage. I feel like this snake skin velvet metallic hues. I thought it was really cool. A uh, little bit of deodorant on that one, so I need to wash that. And this thing, oh my god, look, it's stinky. <laughs> it's a little stinky, okay? Uh, this definitely smells like the epitome of a thrift store. Like, I don't even like holding it right now, but I've got it's gonna get a wash. It's quite worn. We the free by free people. Okay. There are holes in it. You see right there? Unintentional holes, might I add, and they're kind of all over the place. I don't even want this in my room. I'm cutting that up. Wash the hell out of it. I'm gonna cut it up to make it even more raggedy <laughs> because, you know, upcycling. If you can't fix it, you make it worse. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a little pooped. <sighs> Thank you for watching my Goodwill outlet haul. The thing that I said I wouldn't do, I did it. I conquered my fear. And if I can list everything, I want to go every week. But I don't know if that's possible. I'm really tired, man. Like, why am I so tired? Okay. All right. That's it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. And you have a great, great day. Bye. <laughs> Yikes. Subscribe to my channel for more Poshmark related fun.